Hi, I'm Peter Kamström of Kamström.com Business Solutions. In the previous demo, I worked on the workflow that notifies the user when a new phone message is coming in. I'm going to continue that and add a link directly to the, the edit form of the phone message in question. So, as you see, these are all phone messages. And if I open up one of those in edit mode, you'll notice that I'm in a form. If I go into properties of this URL here, you'll see that, let's examine this, and we can put that in Notepad so that we can review it easier. Let's look at that link now. As you see, it's pointing to the lists, phone messages, the edit form, and then it's displaying the ID, and then it's also sending the dialogue here. So uh, what we need to do is simply take this part and add the proper ID. So this is the first one. Each phone message has its own ID, so we need to supply the correct ID there. So that's the link we want. I'm just going to copy that and go back to my email here. And then I'm just going to add a link to that. And I'm going to build up the link using all of this. But instead of the ID, the number one there, I'm going to get the ID of the current item. And then I'm going to publish this again. Now it's published. And then I'll go back and create a new item again. And in a few seconds now, I should get the email with a link to that item. So let's go into my email. And there's the email. And there's the link. If I click that, you see it takes me directly into the edit mode of that particular message. And I can, of course, mark it as returned and save. So that concludes my demo on how to make a workflow that sends an email with a link directly back to the edit form of the current item. Thank you for watching this demo.